Good afternoon and welcome to the interior of Fraser's mobile long screen unit. My name is David Tracy and I'm the engineering manager here at Fraser. I was going to take you on a quick tour of the inside of this unit to point out some of the features uh, as well as some of the safety features designed to keep the staff safe as well as keeping patient safety in mind. Uh, this is the first unit of its kind so it's got some very unique features in here that I just wanted to point out. Uh, the first thing that you'll probably notice is I've got this big cavity over here that uh, provides a little bit of extra space. Uh, it's providing extra room for maneuvering the patient and for maneuvering the staff. Uh, the two things that we store are the table that the patient is going to be laying on for the scanner. This is a specially designed table for the width of this unit. It's currently in its transport mode, so it's locked into place with this strap right here. Uh, when it's ready for use, when they're on scene ready to deploy it, we'll go ahead and take all that off. And you swivel it around here, and the patient will be laying in this left or right position ready to scan we have a stand that holds the QA Phantom. This Phantom um, is supposed to be run inside the scanner at the beginning of every shift or at the beginning of every use of the, uh, of the scanner for the day. This helps calibrate the scanner, make sure that the images that they're seeing are the most accurate that they can be. Uh, so it does require this special stand to be able to center it properly in the scanner. Um, to keep this secure, to make sure it's not banging around against everything else, uh, we did design this easy to use bracket down here on the floor um, that just comes off with a quick twist of the knob. and then that bracket pops off, and this is ready to go. So obviously the big thing that we have here inside this unit is this Body Tom scanner by Samsung Neurologica. This is a full body scanner uh, that could be used in hospitals to scan any particular part of the body. What it's being used for here is to scan most of the torso of the patient and what they're looking for is for lung cancer. Uh, they're hoping to find the early signs in, uh, in the particular patients that are coming in here uh, to help get that treatment started much earlier uh, during the progression. Uh, this scanner travels from the passenger side of the unit and comes out here about to the midline. And if you look down here at the bottom, uh, what you'll notice is you've got a track right here. This helps position the scanner to make sure that it's always tracking in a straight line. Um, and then these specially designed black brackets over here are meant to help secure the scanner. These brackets allow the scanner to travel the full path that it needs to, but also provide support in case this unit were to uh, have to take a hard turn or some sort of evasive maneuver so this entire scanner wouldn't fall over uh, and, and pose a danger to anybody. It is currently in its transport mode. Um, so what you'll notice at the, at the end of the black plates over here is these T-pins that are helping to lock it in place. So this scanner is not able to move right now until we take those pins out and we're ready to, to allow it to move. Obviously this scanner uh, puts out a good bit of radiation it is internally shielded, but we want to make sure that the operator doesn't get any sort of radiation exposure because uh, they could be in here for an extended period of time and we don't want that exposure to continue to stack up. So what you'll see over here uh, at the front end of the module is these three doors right here. These doors are in transport mode uh, and they're, they're currently locked into place. These are specially designed doors that have lead on the inside and this is specially designed lead glass that's gonna help protect the operator. So the way these operate is go ahead with your foot, you just pop these two locks and then this is now ready to slide. And as you can see, there's three different sections of these doors to allow you to have complete coverage. On the inside here is where the scanner is operated and the scans can be viewed. So if you open this up, what you'll notice is this workstation here. This workstation was designed to be a portable workstation for a hospital, uh, but out of a you know, abundance of safety, we wanted to make sure to secure this in place. So we have specially designed brackets that are helping to secure this to the floor as well as to the wall. So the operator can stand over here and then they can close the doors behind them and then they can go ahead and run the full scan and they're completely protected back here from the radiation. Uh, this wall section right here has lead in it and there's lead strategically placed in the side walls of the unit as well. Uh, behind me over here, we just have more workspace and more storage. So we've got this cabinet here with a stainless countertop that makes it very easy to clean. And all sorts of different storage up here 
Uh, they can put all sorts of different things that they need, as well as storage down here, including locking storage. So if they need to lock any patient records or anything, they can do that as well. Uh, so this is a, a highly functional area. This is kind of the brains of the module, if you will. Uh, this can fit anywhere between one and three people uh, that need to be in here. And we also have some storage over here against the wall where they can hang some lead vests just in case the tech does need to be over here to help the patient while the scanning is taking place. We can go ahead and take this table out. So we'll undo the ratchet strap. And you go ahead and pull it all the way out. And you can unhook it. We've got three points of attachment. Two are down here on the floor. So this table can be swung around and into position. Now you might be thinking that this table looks a little bit low, and of course it is, uh, but this table is powered. So you unplug it right here. You go ahead and hook it into the plug. And then now, it is able to go up and down. So we can simply raise it up. And now it can be pushed inside the scanner. So down here at the wheels, we have two functionalities here. In the red, we have the wheel brake. And this is locking the entire unit in place. And if you were to hit just the green, that's a steer lock. That's going to make sure this wheel can't pivot anymore. So you always have a straight in and out path of the table. All right, so once the table's in place, we're ready to go ahead and use the scanner. Now I have not unlocked it yet, but it could be unlocked as soon as you get on scene. So I'll come around to the other side and show you as well. But I'm going to go ahead and take these T pins out. Uh, now remember these pins are just keeping the scanner in place so it's nice and secure while we're traveling down the road. There's two pins on each side. Uh, these are very high strength stainless pins. Uh, so all I'm going to do is press this blue button and pull the pin out. And I'll put it in this holding slot right there. I'll do the same thing to the pin that's on the other side. I'll depress the blue button, pull it out, and hold it over here. This will help make sure these don't get tangled under the machine. Now the scanner is completely free and able to move. There's one control panel on each side that we can use to move the scanner. I've got a choice of slow and fast. So using this, I can go ahead and move this scanner. This is the fast speed, of course. And this is going to travel all the way to the end. And I can slow it down as well and go a much slower pace. This can also travel all the way back to the wall. And this is the stroke where it's doing its actual scan. It's on the way back toward the wall. All right. So a lot of the operation can happen from here. Um, and, a, and a lot more fine tuning can happen here on the control panel. Once we're done with the scan and we want to go ahead and put the scanner back into place. Now what you'll notice over here at the very end of the foot plate or the lock plate is some arrows right here that need to align before you're able to lock this scanner into place. So you'll notice they're about a couple inches off right now. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly move this over until those line up. And that should be about right for putting those pins back in place. And I'll do the same on the other side. That way this is secured again, ready to go back down the road. This is not necessary to do between scans and between patients. It's only when you're ready to start traveling down the road with this. So obviously it's important to keep the inside of this unit comfortable for the patient and for the staff, but also especially for the machine. This machine has a particular range of temperatures that it's designed to operate within. Uh, so in order to help maintain the temperature inside here, we have two roof mounted AC units. These are Dometic units that are low profile on top. These have both heating and cooling capacity. So obviously when it's warm outside, they'll be running to make sure the inside of this module is nice and cool. But in the dead of winter, they also do a very good job of keeping the inside of this module warm, which is comfortable for the patient, but especially good for the machine as well to make sure that we're not gonna do anything to the machine that uh, is gonna possibly damage it. One other area that you notice that I'm standing in is the, it's a combination of the consultation area and the patient changing room. So you'll notice these curtains behind me these curtains can be undone and slid along this track that we have on the ceiling. And this provides privacy for the patient to be able to change into their gown um, and then back into their clothes when they're done with the scan. 
Um, here on this bench, we have an area that the patient can sit uh, while they're getting changed, and we have areas up here where they can keep their clothes, keep their keys, their wallet, all that good stuff. Um, and then, of course, we have storage under the bench here, and, and the storage is where um, it's going to be completely up to the staff, but you could keep dirty gowns, you could keep different supplies, things like that. Uh, you'll notice on these windows here, you can't exactly see outside. Uh, these are some frosted, special frosted glass that will help provide privacy for the patient as well. Um, and these windows do open in the case that uh, there need to be some fresh air circulating in here. Uh, one of the other areas that you notice, uh, or features you notice back here, is this workstation right here. So if I pull that up, this suddenly becomes a consultation area where the doctor and the patient can talk. So the patient can be sitting over here on the bench. The doctor can be either standing here or sitting on their stool. They can review charts, they can review images, and go over more of a long-term treatment plan. This folds easily out of the way. So this is ready to be used as a changing room again. Uh, one last feature over here to point out is this black pad that I'm standing on. There is a wheelchair lift on the back of this unit to allow those patients in wheelchairs to get in here. Uh, and this right here serves as a pressure pad. If there's anybody standing here, meaning they're in a danger zone of the wheelchair lift, that lift will not operate. So this requires that everybody is off the pad and this door is closed and that wheelchair lift can operate. Since this door is not a regular door designed to be uh, you know, entered and exited all the time, uh, we do recognize that it's possible this door over here could become jammed um, or, you know, if it got struck by a vehicle, uh, impassable. So we have some emergency release mechanisms here. We've got one down here on the bottom and we have one up here on the top. And if you activate both of those, these rotaries will let go and this door will open to allow an easy egress. So thanks for joining us on this tour of the first of its kind mobile lung screen unit by Fraser. 